All right, we're joined. Uh, it is going to be Record Store Day, so we are joined with the authorities on the matter, the fellows from Dark Side Records. Introduce yourselves. How's it going? I'm Roberto. I'm Justin. And thank you for coming in. Uh, it's a, an incredible place. If you haven't been there, right there on Main Street in Poughkeepsie, uh, swing on by. It's technically Main Street. Is, that, is your address... Main it is Street. Main Street, yeah. Because it's right where kind of Raymond Avenue meets Main Street, right? Yeah, right we're on the, the Main Street side of that intersection. Right. So uh, swing on by if you haven't been through. Uh, but if you want to go on Record Store Day, you're going to have to get there early. Because I've been there on Record Store Day. And the line is out the door before things start. And down and around the side of the building. Does it grow every year? Is it getting bigger and bigger? It seems to. The releases keep getting bigger and bigger. So there's more and more people coming out. Yes. And last year, I think, was our biggest line to date. So we're expecting it to... Be bigger than that. How much? What's the earliest people have shown up to be in line? Three thirty a.m. is the earliest we've had so far, and I've got a promise of three so far. But I'm really hoping for a camper. Yeah, we want to <laughs> see. We want to see tents and sleeping bags on the sidewalk. It's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be like a Star Wars release where people are there like six months in advance. They're just gonna be napping outside in a <laughs> sleeping bag. It's gonna be good. If you dress up, you get a special prize. Oh, there you go. If you show up as a stormtrooper, or, uh, Boba Fett, or something, come on through. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, or if you just dress up like Jack White or something, get your big black pompadour and you just own... have to make sure to scowl really good and look <laughs> unhappy about life. Yeah, look generally miserable. A, a, a current of frustration running through you. Uh, so that's that's the thing is that the reason people camp out and, and or potentially camp out and hang out so early is because of all of the releases. 400 special edition things coming yeah, out? Yeah, a little over 400. 400 plus, yeah. So what are the big things that this year that you guys are expecting to be the hot commodities? Uh, the two absolute biggest pieces are definitely going to be uh, the re-release of brand new's Deja and Tondu. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you want that one, come as early as possible. Mm-hmm. And uh, the White Stripes Get Behind Me Satan, first time ever on vinyl. Yeah, that thing, they've been, I've uh, I've been trying to get my hands on that, and then I realized it didn't exist. I'm like, I've got yeah. like Icky Thump on the wall next to Elephant, and then it's like, I'm missing <laughs> things here. And uh, apparently, that's why. He loves to play games with his uh, his vinyl, doesn't he? All the time, and I, I personally think it's a lot of fun. It's cool. It is kind of interesting that he brings and, and not just him but record store day in general brings this element of uh of the collector coming out and it's like well i, I want to get it in red vinyl or i, I want to get the one that they only made 50 of or whatever and that's kind of what's cool about record store day is it gives you an excuse if you're a real uh, music nerd to buy copies of albums you might already have you know yep, what I mean? absolutely just go out and see is there anything uh that you guys in particular are super excited about oh there's so many to go through yeah we'll, um, we'll just run through the whole list we talked about it off here we'll just read all 400 yeah, the, uh, the, the foo fighters have something coming out that's supposed to be pretty cool okay uh flaming lips have some more stuff coming out there's three they do something lips pieces every record store day there's always something cool going on with them they're always doing something and yep. even before record store day it's like here uh, buy this cd where you have to simultaneously listen to four albums at the same time to understand what's going on I, that's he, actually he, through this album. jello brain to get to it. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Well, Dave Grohl uh, from the Foo Fighters said they're going to have a release. He's now like the ambassador or something like that. Officially. Yeah, every, every year, uh, Records Today chooses a musician to be their ambassador. And okay. And he, uh, he, he, he made the this cut. year's. Well, you know, it's it's cool because so many people are trying to get involved now, and uh, one of them that I was interested in is, is Dogfish Head, which is the official beer of Record Store Day. And uh, I know uh, Sam from from Dogfish Head is a huge music fan. I, a couple of weeks ago, I finally got to try the Guided by Voices themed beer. Nice. He's done Pearl Jam beers. He's done Miles Davis uh, themed beers. Robert Johnson. So, is there uh, what what is Dogfish Head's involvement in Record Store Day? They're a sponsor of Record Store Day this okay. year, and they actually are putting out a compilation record. Record, uh, that's basically music to drink beer to. Oh, how much better does it get than that? There's no better way to spend a Sunday. You're doing it anyway. I know. So. <laughs> right, yeah. You're doing them separately, maybe. Combine them together. It just makes magic. So uh, so it's on Saturday, right? And it's uh, 9 o'clock. You guys open? Yep. 9 a.m. All right, but uh, if you're going to want to get that, especially if you're a brand new fan, and I know we have tons and tons in the tri-state area, brand new kind of is, uh, is a big, big deal. Absolutely. People uh, come in have been... Looking for that record on Since vinyl for years. Yeah, yeah it's crazy how. I, and uh, I still remember the the performance the first time they were on uh, TV. It was like on on Kimmel, and they were absolutely like the most nervous people I've ever seen. <laughs> and Jesse on his guitar instead of Hi Mom, he had a uh, shout out to Morrissey. He wrote in duct tape, like or electrical tape, Hi Moz. And it's like, oh, you just <laughs> oh. that's where it all begins. The, <laughs> the try hard Jesse begins right there. <laughs> But uh, it's it's going to be a great time. I hope that you guys uh, end up having the biggest line that you've ever had. If you're in the Poughkeepsie area or in the Hudson Valley in general, swing on by to Dark Side Records. Uh, right there, you heard it right off of uh, or you know right on Main Street. If you know where uh, Raymond Avenue is, it's right before that, heading uh, heading toward 44 and 55 and things like that. So make sure that you stop on by. And uh, can they uh, you know what's the best website things like that to check out for you guys? Uh, our website is darksiderecordsandgallery.com. 
Uh, we have everything listed up there. We've got links to the list, uh, all our policies regarding first come, first served right. items, stuff like that, the line. You ever had to break people up over, like, them trying to get their hands on something? No, we don't do it Walmart style. Okay. It's, uh... Yeah, then no fatalities at Dark Side today. <laughs> well, that's good news. You will be able to get great records, and you don't have to worry about your life being in danger. Thanks for coming in, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.